Hi, I'm Dan from QuickTap, and today I'm going to show you how to properly clean and maintain your QuickTap. It's extremely important to the overall performance and longevity of your unit to clean properly as well as quickly after every use. We are going to start this cleaning process by filling our one quart size bottle with 120 degree water. Now it's time to mix up our powdered beer wash cleaning solution. The manufacturer Star Sand recommends one ounce per gallon, so we are going to be putting 0.25 ounces or one and a half teaspoons into our hot water. Attach the pump top of the cleaning bottle and shake until well mixed. Attach the cleaning adapter to the Sankey decoupler and pull down on the coupler handle to engage. Open the flow control lever, open the faucet, and pump the cleaning solution through your unit. Once your cleaning solution is passed through entirely, disengage the coupler in the up position, twist off, and you're ready to start sanitizing. Rinse out the quart container and fill with cold water and a few drops of star sand. Hook the cleaning adapter back up and rinse out the quick tap. Open the flow control and faucet and run the sanitizer through it. With the faucet and the flow control lever open and the coupler engaged, turn the quick tap end to end to let the water drain out. We're then going to hang it upside down and allow the quick tap to air dry. Using the faucet wrench, loosen and remove the faucet and let it soak in a pre-made bucket of PBW cleaning solution. Using a one inch wrench, loosen and remove the coupler nut with gas hose attached. Using the same one inch wrench, loosen the tap rod nut and remove it from the coupler. Now that we have the coupler removed from the quick tap itself, we're going to make sure to get out all the internal components of the coupler to make sure it's the deep clean is complete. That includes the back blow preventer as well as the check ball. We'll then use our brush to clean out the entire coupler and all the spots that are hard to get. So putting the coupler back together, we have a back blow preventer and a check ball. This goes on top. And in between here, and the tap rod is where we find the black neoprene washer. While your quick tap is apart and soaking, check the black neoprene washer between the coupler and tap rod for pinch points, twists, or cracks. Lubricate both sides of the neoprene washer with food grade lubricant and replace if necessary. Place the newly lubricated black neoprene washer in the tap rod and attach the tap rod to the coupler. It's also a good time to check in and replace the red CO2 ring on the refillable CO2 tank if needed. O-rings are inexpensive, so when in doubt, change them out. Once your faucet has been soaking for a while, use your brush. Make sure to clean the inside of the faucet. Around all the spots. The hard to get spots. Put the flow control down. Get it then. Put the flow control up. Get behind it then. You can also take off the entire flow control lever and this top part as well. You can disassemble and make sure that all the O-rings inside there are good as well and just make sure that the faucet is in top working condition. Once you have everything put back together in the reverse order of taking it apart, continue to run the rest of the cleaner through the quick tab. With the faucet and the flow control lever open and the coupler engaged, turn the quick tap end to end to let the water drain out. We're then going to hang it upside down and allow the quick tap to air dry. You'll want to hear the check ball in the coupler moving freely. 
Depending on your situation and location, you can also pre-make batches of the PBW cleaner and the sanitizer and just throw them in kegs. When engaged, the quick tap still may slightly move right or left. However, it is not meant to move side to side. You'll see that the nut connecting the tap rod and the coupler will loosen, or if it's tightened too tight, it will pinch and you will have leakage out the side. So there you have it, a clean quick tap, ready to pour or put away for your next event. Whether you purchase a quick tap cleaning kit from our site or you have another preferred method of doing it, all I know is it's got to stay clean, people. Cheers.